Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Saga has come out to say that you know what? If he has to take another strike because of Nini again, he will do it. We see him and Nini having a conversation in the garden, right? And was telling Nini that you know what? He doesn't care that he's really proud of getting that strike. He's wearing the strike with pride. And of course, if he has to take it again, he will do it. I'm wearing, my, I'm wearing that strike with pride. I'm gonna do it over and over again. I'm not joking, that's the addition I made. I don't fucking care. I want to do it again and again. Now remember the saga already has two strikes and if he claims that he will still take another strike if the need arises, he means he's going home. So does saga want to go home for Nini? Well, we'll see how that plays out. Moving on to my next gist. Paris seems not to be over the whole saga Nini conversation about him having suicidal tendencies, right? So we see Perry in a conversation with Cross and Yusuf on the dining, right? And Perry is talking about the fact that saga called him an instigator and that if you see a real instigator, you will know them. If an agenda is to get to, if you jump is to get to, you will run. Right. You know, you will run. I tell you. I'm not to get to anything. <laughs> Perry was talking about the fact that, you know what, he doesn't instigate anything that is all by himself in this house and guess what, he's surprised at the fact that Saga Nini could be talking about him being an instigator. I mean, almost always by myself, chilling. Something you... Moving on to my next gist, right? We see Cross and Queen in a conversation, right? And of course, Cross is just with Mountain Queen and telling Queen that you know what? You're my number one girl in this house. If I get outside of this house and ask me who's your number one favorite female big brother and your housemate, he's going to say it is Queen. Who's your number one female housemate? <laughs> in on guard, my mother, it's you now. He talked about the fact that if it was yesterday, Queen was not his number one, but as at today, Queen is his number one, and of course, she takes that place, and he even had to swear with his mom. Yesterday wasn't you. Yeah. You're second. But now you're first. <laughs> Why am I first? Why am I first? I understand you more. He now went ahead to say that yes, he does like Angel, but Angel is not his number one because Angel acts like a baby, and that Angel is a baby. And I know your heart, you have a pure heart more than anybody. Yeah. I like Angel, don't get me wrong, but Angel is a baby, she acts like a baby. Still on Cross, Cross has come out to say that if Big Brother did not choose him this year for this year's edition, he would have still come back next year and the next two years and the next four years. That God saved Big Brother for having to choose him as one of the contestants for this year's edition. God, God won't be tied them. If they didn't accept me, I would have, they, they would have seen my face over and over. God points <laughs> Now, Queen has lost her fish, right? Big Brother gave them a glass filled with water and of course gave them fishes inside the water and told them to look after this. Remember that already Cross lost his own fish, the fish died. And here this morning we saw Queen, right? Trying to wake up her fish. And guess what, the fish wasn't moving, right? And she really, really got emotional as she broke down in tears. It's because the fish has died. It's been like this. It's been like this. I don't think so. It's been like this. Now we see White Money in the conversation with Queen in bed, right? And of course, White Money is talking about Angel to Queen. So White Money is saying that, you know what, he doesn't like what Angel does, that Angel is a cloud chaser. He says that Angel, whenever she wants to do whatever she wants to do, come up with an act or whatever, if it's a strategy, that she looks up to the camera, and of course, when she sees that the camera is facing her, then she adds energy to whatever she wants to do, and that she's cloud chasing. Because of the things you do, you know, you just do it for clouds, you just do it. She just noticed most times she they look at the camera to make this looking at you. Finally, Majest, Angel is feeling like she'll be going home on Sunday, right? Of course, she has said that three people will be going home on Sunday. Anything that wants to happen should happen. Now, three people they go also, I think. She goes ahead to say that you know what, she's just going to enjoy the remaining three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday before the live eviction show, and that on Sunday she'll be ready to leave if her name is called up. Because they enjoy my three days stay. Thank you so much guys for watching. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, like this video, share this video, turn on your notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post a video. Go on our social media platforms on Facebook and Instagram, on Twitter, and of course on TikTok, and follow me at Femi Daniel. And until next time I come with very soon, it's bye for now.